Hello, this is Julia Sanagata, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to transfer a new Rockwell Automation software license. In previous videos, you probably saw that the Rockwell Software Portal has changed the way that we do software activations and software licensing, and in this video, we're going to show you how to transfer them, particularly useful if you're a systems integrator or machine builder and you need to transfer a license you've purchased to the end manufacturing customer or if you are a manufacturing site and you need to transfer a license to somebody in your department or at another location. So first and foremost, the website we're going to do that on is commerce.rockwellautomation.com. And if you purchase a new software number, which can be identified by four digits and then an M or a C at the end, you have probably purchased it via the Rockwell Automation software portal. And those are the licenses we're going to be talking about today. Previously, you may have used a site right here called activate.rockwellautomation.com to do your license transfer. And you did that by hitting edit registration. You typed in your serial number, something matching like company name, and you put in the transfer request. For older software that you purchased more than a year ago, this is still how you will do that transfer. But for any new software that you've purchased within the last year or so, since mid-2020, you're going to need to do it via the software portal. So the way you would do that is go ahead and go to commerce.rockwellautomation.com. You're going to log in if it asks you to log in with any of your Rockwell Automation login. Here I'm already logged in. Then you're going to go to My Subscriptions. Once you get to My Subscriptions, you'll see a list of software that you are the owner for. And now in the new portal system, all software is bundled, so it software is part of a software contract. Perpetual licenses are bundled with a year of maintenance, and subscriptions are bundled together with their maintenance as well. You could toggle to my company quotes and contracts. You may see more software there, but you may not be the owner of that software. Now you will only be able to complete the transfer if you are the owner of the software and the software contract. See earlier videos for more information about that. I'm going to go ahead and find some of the active software. There are a few quotes there that I don't want to look at, but let's see which software I have the ability to transfer. So I, I filtered for active, and now I'm going to scroll down and find the piece of software that I would like to transfer to somebody else. Now, if I've located what I am looking for, and then I'm just simply going to go over to this assigned contract button on the right. When I click that, it's going to pull up a new page that is going to begin the transfer process. So this is actually pretty simple. If you're transferring it to somebody within your company in the same physical location, you would simply type their email address in here. If that was the case, you would just hit assign and you would be done. Now if you're transferring it to somebody at a different location or a different company, different location or different company, you're going to check this box. And then from here, it's important that you try to use the address book. If you manually type the information of the company in here, it won't automatically tie out to the numerical ID that Rockwell's assigned that location. And it will take a little longer to process. So I strongly suggest attempting to use the address book to find the company that you're looking for. In this case, I'm just going to look for another Rumsey location and I am going to pick the Atlantic City location. Now, a couple of things to note, less is more here. Definitely just use the start of the company name. I don't recommend the city unless there's a lot of results. Um, less is usually more. So start with you know smaller, add some details as you need. But in this case, I'm gonna select the Atlantic City location, hit save, and you'll see that that has all been auto-populated, including that numerical identifier that Rockwell has for our location there in Atlantic City. At this point, I'm done. If I go ahead and hit assign, that land license and its equivalent software contract is going to transfer to its new owner. So you'll get a success message at the top of the screen that lets you know it was successful, but you'll know it has completely gone through the process when you no longer see it in your My Subscriptions view. So if you manually type it in, it could take a few days. If you do it automatically, it should process within 24 hours. When it is done processing, it will disappear from your My Subscriptions view and it'll appear in the My Subscriptions view of the person and the company whose email address you put in. And that's it, transfer is done.